Hello guys, unplanned intro from my car here for today. I didn't have any video planned and I didn't get to the office because of huge snow here in Lithuania. So it's totally a nightmare to drive. So I thought I would just shoot a quick intro and publish something from my courses. I have a lot of videos already in my courses. So topic of today, I will edit the video in, which would be about renaming database model and doing that with TDD. Enjoy the video and see you tomorrow, hopefully, with a video from my office if I get there. In this Laravel refactoring example, we're talking about quite an extreme example of renaming the model, the entity. I had this case in one of my projects in the past where I wanted to rename the model. For example, you have a model of reservations and this code is partly generated by our quick admin panel, but that's not the point. It's an admin panel for reservations. And at some point your project grows up and you want to rename the reservation into product because there are other products appearing in your project. So your project becomes not about reservations only. So instead of adding another model of product, you decide to rename the reservation into products and everything needs to change. Menu item, model name, all the texts, everything. So reservation becomes a product. How to do that in Laravel? For example, currently you have reservations controller with create form, reservations folder for the blade file, store reservation request, inform request file name, and a lot of reservations in the code. If we find in files in all project, it's 100 plus matches. Some of them are in the storage or some internal stuff, but in total there are 227 results. Quite a huge number, but it is possible to rename. As usual in this course, I've prepared automated test for the current reservation logic. So let's close the search and here's the reservation test that tests that acting with admin. We can get the reservation list, create form, store and edit and update and delete. So what would be the steps to rename the model? First, I would recreate the same test for the future product model. So we just do file save as and save that as products test. For now, we haven't done any renaming in the code, but we will go like TDD route test driven development where tests are first and only then the code. So we rename that to products test and then rename everything in this file from reservation to product in uppercase first, replace all and then reservation to product lowercase with PHP storm, replace all as well. And for now, if we run test, of course, they will fail PHP artisan test one test will succeed. If we scroll up, we have reservation test as successful, but product test, everything fails, right? For a reason, of course, we haven't done anything yet. And let's actually go step by step in that test and fix everything that we see not fit. So first model not found, let's create that model. And what we will do actually, we open reservation as a model. So we would have all its features. We will not create a new model. We will do file save as, as a product. So rename the model. So rename the class then. Rename the table of products. Or we can actually even skip that. And I don't think there's anything more to change. If we run tests again and we filter products test, it still fails because product factory is not found. So let's define the factory. For reservation factory, we have this file save as product factory. And for now, important point, I will leave all the older files present. So the way how I would do this model rename is just creating a copy, not cut, but copy. And then when I'm sure that the new version is working, only then I will clean up the old models, the old files, the old behavior. So it's kind of like lowering the risk. So product factory will be the new class. And then if we run the test again, we have no such table of products, right? So we need to create the migration. For that, we could generate a new migration or rename the table. And this is a personal choice. How much risk do you want to accept? You may create a new migration and manually copy the data, or you can rename the table. So let's do rename in this case, PHP artisan make migration, rename reservations into products table like this. And that would be just schema rename from reservations to products like this. And then in the down migration, just in case, let's do back. If we need to roll back the changes, like this, let's run the test again. 
still 5 failed. But now we have the errors with the blade already with the actual functionality of the products. Now we need to take care of the routes and controllers. So we do reservation controller. We rename that again with file save as to products controller. Products controller. We rename the class name products controller and then again rename everything in the file from reservation to product first lowercase and then reservation with uppercase first letter replace everything okay and now in the routes web we can copy or rename everything related to reservations in this case let's rename i think it's pretty safe so products destroy and products here to products controller like this the syntax is from older laravel versions actually before laravel 8 so products controller mass destroy name products mass destroy i think that's it let's rerun the tests what do we get now still five failed okay what is the error in fact it's 500 error here somewhere target class update product request does not exist okay we need to take care of the form requests which are in app http requests store reservation request for example so we go file save as and store product request like this rename the file as well the class name an identical thing with update reservation request file save as update product request like this rename the class name to update product request and there's also mass destroy because you can delete the entries with checkboxes and multiple ones so there's also mass destroy reservation request to product request mass destroy product request okay we're running our tests again anything succeeds no still no so now we have 403 which is forbidden forbidden means the permissions in our case in quick admin panel we generate the permissions in the seeds so database seeds permissions table seeder we have here a lot of permissions including reservation so in here let's replace the seeds as well reservation to product replace all perhaps in the real database you would need to have migration or manual rename of the permissions but in this case for simplicity i will do that in the seeders and also i've noticed we need to change that in the requests as well here so in the form request files we also need to replace reservations to products in all of them reservation to product here and also in the store product request also reservation to product good now what we have we have the first successful test out of five great now let's see what's the reason for the failure current reason admin products edit not found the views now so we need to duplicate the views resources views admin reservations in this case or we can rename the full folder rename the folder to products refactor but then inside of those blades there's probably everything around reservations so for example admin reservation store and there are also translations so let's rename everything in the blade here then in the edit blade as well maybe there could be a php storm function to replace everything in multiple files but in this case i will not use that so we rename the blades now let's run the tests and we have five past tests great we renamed everything that we needed but now let's actually relaunch the project visually and maybe we have something that is not covered by our test so let's launch the dashboard and as i was expecting there's another error not covered by test in the menu blade we don't have reservations route so let's open that menu blade let's find the reservations and let's actually rename everything here as well reservation to product replace all and now if we relaunch the dashboard i don't see reservations here at all because i don't have the access i need to reseed the database to have that permission if you are on your local computer it's safe to reseed the database which i will do on production version you probably need to change the permissions manually as i told you but in my case it's safe to have my great fresh seed because i don't have any data and if i re-log in i have the products here except for translations so cruds product we go to cruds php for the language file and in here we also replace the reservation in lowercase letters and not sure if we do have in uppercase we do have that so replace all that as well 
and now we have a full CRUD renamed with products everything works and we don't have anything around reservations now after you make sure that it all works by automated tests and testing manually then you can step by step delete the old files but i will not shoot the cleanup in this video you get the idea that you need to cover something with the tests first then test manually as well then migrate the data depending on whether you're on local or on production server and then finally clean up the old files